All right, folks, the deck is Murloc Warlock, or Murloc. The goal of the deck is to get early game Murlocs out, play a copy of Chum Bucket, which we need to be careful about our pronunciation of, so that we can buff the Murlocs in our hand. Then we can use things like Blood Scent Vilefin and Sea Devil Stinger to reduce the cost of either Gorlock Ravager to draw a bunch of Murlocs into hand, or Gigafin to keep spewing out a wave of angry fishmen. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash raffle. Watch this! My blade burns with holy fire. I mean, these are the cards we want to buff, right? Especially the twin fin. Just look for one drops. Against Paladin, I might need the Lush Water Scout as well. But maybe I just give up on the charger and... Go for early game minions. Double lush water. No mechs for you. Accidents. They happen, you know. Yeah. I'm hoping for a one mana mech off the top, or Murloc off the top there, mechs. I'm Murlocs. Jonifer. Thank you for the gifted subs. Really appreciate that. Alright, this is the best one mana Murloc to draw. I'm the hand buff deck now. I had die so far. Crab Rider and Mermy. Double Mermy though, so probably want to let other things get in there before going in further. My stuff's still bigger. Oh! Oh, and chat was doubting the uh, the Giga Finn. Nom. I mean, that means they don't get that board back still. Tempting to keep one of the Ravagers. I've played Switcheroo yesterday 20 games 11 times Drew the Minions, not that reliable. I mean, that's a very, very, very low sample size. Um, so, even and even if that is true, that's not the primary problem with the with the deck, as we just talked about. Yeah. 
problem is that it creates, like, even if it's a 45% win rate deck, it still creates really unfun play patterns. But 20 games is not nearly enough to like make draw conclusions from a deck or about a deck. I want to kill both of these, which this allows me to do. Then I can maybe go here next turn and get some chum bucket value. But this lush water scout is hard carrying right now. In a box, mm, pirate stuff. Also, like the uh, the highest win rate version of Switcheroo Priest right now has a or the highest sample has a sixty percent win rate. It's a little bit skewed because like things on HS Replay are. Not reliable, but the coin still stands. Because I hit this, I think these stats are more than enough. Duncan Doe's nuts. I give you the eleven months. Glory, I'm here for the gold. Yeah, we're probably losing the uh, Blush Water Scout finally, but these to cover that. So. Which in the cost could cause other bad interactions, though. So. Yeah, maybe, but. I mean, again. I don't have a better solution. Wait, they're not playing the Tokara here? They're just dying? Is that the plan? That explains why. Should be GG. Job done. Deck is pretty bonkers. Hector, you kill all Aha! Aha! That's not gonna get you there. Gigafin hungry. Yummy.
I just like the stinger. Probably gonna kill me if it's questline hunter, but I'm gonna do it anyway. I think I just like get farmed by questline hunter regardless of what I do. So I need to play assuming it's a different deck. But wishful thinking. I actually get to play the game. Job done. That's fun. I don't know what that secret is, though. It's concerning. I kind of thought it was explosive. Maybe that's explosive? It is not. And maybe it's like a spell interactor. Next turn we go here. No, we go here and then here and pick the uh, the buff boy off of the scavenger. It could be ice. It could be pack tactics. Like It could be like, any number of things. Do I even care about Oliak here? It trades kind of awkwardly for me, so let's kill it. It's probably a secret. I think you're onto something here. this card. Even if it's not fantastic, it's so much fun. Wait, how much damage is this? One damage off legal. Guess I shouldn't have traded into that Leoc. Not sure... Oh, that saves you. Well, Even if that's explosive, it's still a rip. We'll keep this. Demonic project is the savior we all need. I mean, I could unironically work that and um Potion of Polly. Would the card be more balanced if it switched the cots instead of the stats? Well, I think it would be more interesting if it did both, because we already have a card that switches the stats, or the cost rather than the stats. Counterspell, perhaps? You're still taking 20 to a counterspell. And they have zero mana spells that can easily test for it. Six nine. Nice. Let's just trade these two off, I think. Can't really afford to take too much more damage here. Done. 
They're dead next turn. The torch, yeah, it could be Reno. No, it can't be Reno because they've got uh, Kieran Tor Mage, double Kieran Tor Mage. Huh. But if you had just left the ten attack up, they would have. They had lethal guaranteed with hero power plus the weapon swing to my face. So I would have lost. They didn't need to attack into a single minion to kill me. Job done. Come on, chat. You, you gotta be you gotta be a little bit better than that. Double Lush Water Scout gives me a chance here. Uh, them drawing one of their patches also helps. They attack into this and it's fine. I get to swing the board back next turn in some manner. Sure. To kill those. And I think tap here. I want to go like here, here, here next turn. Let's tap first. Here. Wait, did they not attack? Open to use it to clear, I suppose. Someone's got to lead the charge. Clear that. Ooh, that's a phenomenal draw. I almost didn't hit a Murloc there. Would have been rough. Look at the size of these, though. We win now? Uh, not necessarily, but we're in a very good spot. Like pirate warrior can still do pirate warrior things, but we're gonna likely swing the board back next turn. The pirates cove. Annoying. Oh, you love to see it. They go here into here into tap. I could have waited for a turn to get the uh, the chum bucket, but I don't think it's going to double the attack of this. Hey, Joe!
Now, hate's a strong word, right, Raffle? You're right, but the problem was I couldn't think of anything stronger to express my disdain for Pirate Warrior. There's no world where it's Tempo Talks Finn, right? If I knew it were an, uh, a, a Murloc Mirror, I might consider it, but even that seems like a poor choice. <laughs> I just love the new voice lines on some of these Murlocs. They do be dredging, though. Um, if it's Frog Shaman, I'm gonna be in big trouble. I can dredge that boy back up. Just adds a cool to this deck, so you can legally curse whenever you see a pirate warrior. Not only can I legally do so, but in cursing, I will get some healing off of it too, so it's perfect. I like the way you think. A chum bucket was awful tempting. Um, not really. Like I've got enough. Uh, no. Well, especially after this. What? Oh, it's a murloc again too. What? <laughs> oh my god. Maybe tap once instead of playing this. I don't want to leave it susceptible to just dying. Like, we're in ice fishing away from just losing this board anyway, so I don't want to play too hard into it. Oh, hey, at least I hit other minions this time. I've only got two spell types for the multicaster, is what I was going to say. these for burst with the Murka. They need Reno here, and even that doesn't save them. good opener. Possibly Mech Mage, so Oxfin is tempting, but I think I just need to rely on getting big stats. Okay. Oh, it's Secret Mage again. That's weird. Hey, the Toxfin's back. Good job. Why are they running Mere Entity? Uh, I have no idea. It hasn't been good for a very long time. But this is the second Secret Mage that has been, so... Yeah. 
better than these. We're in a very good spot here. I'm late. I'm late. Probably need to start tapping. Excuse me. Okay, so definitely not Flame Ward, right? Well, who needs to tap when you have that? Let's still play around Flame Ward. Not any better the second time. Well, it is better, but like still not good. Okay, I think this is just an old version of uh, the deck. Lunith and uh, Forgotten Torch are just kind of a returning player type thing. Revel in the power. Beautiful. Whether or not it's strong is irrelevant. Like, yeah, maybe I beat it, but it's just not a fun game with it involved. Looks like it might be Face Hunter. Could just be Beasts. Oof. Kind of wanted that. I need to find the blood scent now. Probably avoid taking too much damage. It does appear to be face hunter. But at the same time, that's kind of what my deck wants to do. Could be hard to avoid. Oh right, it's not drawing from the top of my deck. Nice. Hey, welcome, Scarlet Bird. Hungry, aren't you? Hope they kill Stone Toes more for good this time. We'd lose uh, Blue Jill to that too, probably though, right? Because it would just increase the cost of the the combo by one mana. So that wouldn't really be an acceptable fix. This. Ban Switcheroo and Wild Like Demon Seed, but I want to play Switcheroo in other decks, like Reno Priest or Miracle Priest. Like, no, that's not an acceptable solution either. I would just like to maybe see it either swap the mana cost as well as the stats, or that's not how that goes, uh, or only swap health or something like that. There are ways that you can change the card without deleting it. The fact that it doesn't swap mana is crazy to me. Yeah, if you swap the stats and mana, like that makes it a what a turn seven combo. Like that's perfectly reasonable in the wild format. Uh, 
Uh, we still got lethal if they kill that one, so... Alright then. Thank you to legendary patrons Brian Quinn, Charlie Bluearm, Fizzle Jizzix, Gian Rusi, HS Battlefly, Jeffrey Pierce, Justice Crater, Nate Drex, Osiris, Pyroflow Scarlet, St. Arthur, Shadow Yama, Shadow1TV, Vamplord Gaming, and Vanfix.